So looking at this problem on the homework, we're taking the derivative of a derivative. So you calculated the derivative the first time properly. Now we're going to look at this function and we're going to calculate the second derivative. So if we're given a quotient, the derivative of a quotient, I'm going to write this as f over g, this is kind of shorthand, but I take the derivative of the top, hold the bottom, minus the derivative of the bottom, hold the top all over the bottom squared. So looking at this function, and I want to take the derivative of the derivative, the second derivative of the original function, I take the derivative of the top, which you say 2x plus 2, hold the bottom, x plus 1 quantity squared, minus the derivative of the bottom, which would be 2 times the quantity x plus 1, hold the top, which I get x squared plus 2x minus 4, all over the bottom squared, which in this case would be x plus 1 squared to squared. So now I need to clean up some things. Here I have this x plus 1 term and I have an x plus 1 term here so I can factor out an x plus 1 and I'm left with 2x plus 2 times x plus 1 minus 2 times the quantity x squared plus 2x minus 4 all over x plus 1 squared squared. So that actually simplifying I can cancel out the x plus 1 and then instead of the fourth power it's going to be to the third power. Here I have 2x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 2 minus the quantity 2x squared plus 4x minus 8. I have to be very careful with this negative here because I want to make sure I distribute that. So I have 2x squared minus 2x squared, so they cancel. I have 2x plus 2x minus the 4x. So then I have 2 minus a minus 8, which would be minus, oh, sorry, it would be 2 plus 8, so that would be 10, all over x plus 1 quantity to the third power. So looking at some of your work here, this should be the derivative of the top, hold the bottom, minus the derivative of the bottom, hold the top, all over the bottom squared, which you did correctly there, but here you actually wrote the or the top function maybe the derivative of the bottom, I'm not exactly sure. One of these went wrong here. So the derivative of the top, hold the bottom, minus the derivative of the bottom, hold the top, all over the bottom squared. So hopefully this helps. If you have any other questions, please let me know.